Hey, let's talk some automation. So we're going to talk about texting-based campaigns today. Um, in campaigns, the goal here is how do you set up a drip campaign? How do you make it personal? Pretty easy. Um, we're going to start off and hit new campaign. There's going to be five different sections here. One is the name of the actual campaign itself. Then you can set a start date, choose your recipients, set up the actual messages, and if you want, set up a stop date. So let's go ahead and name this sales. Um, you can start immediately, start at a custom date, start at a holiday, or save as a draft. I'm going to start as a as a custom date, and I'm actually going to pick today, even though it's too early, to show you that the system will actually give me a rejection um, because it's too early, and we can correct that. Um, let's choose your recipients. Um, you can go all contacts or pick any group that you have, or you can create a new group. Um, but we're going to go with, uh, let's just pick you know one of the groups here, the first one. Here's where it gets interesting. Um, add a condition set. These are areas where you can drill down into your data. So any of the data that you have can be drilled down into. So let's add a condition set where we're going to pretend we're going to pull up all the people in the Northern Virginia, D.C., uh, Maryland area. So let's make area code equal to you know uh, 703, 202, and 301. You can use any um, data elements. So if you are a mortgage person, you could say I want rates over five. Uh, if you're a real estate person, you could say I want a certain area code, certain zip code uh, to be able to send out information um, to those particular people. So all this is doing is filtering into your data. Now you set up your messages. So you're going to write whatever you're going to write. Over to the right, you'll see personalization options. Um, on the personalization options, if you insert first name, it's going to add first name for any of those people that will receive <coughs> the um, campaign. So let's include that. And then maybe you even add some other aspects to it as well, if you want. So I'll write a basic message here. This is message one. Message one will go out first to anybody that's in that new group that we have. And then you'll have your follow-up messages for the drip campaign itself. So after we're done writing our message here, and down below you can see you can add pictures, you can add videos, um, you can add data elements, you can add uh, emojis if you want to add emojis as well. Um, so it's easy as just adding an attachment in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add our second message as well. All you're going to do is say how many days later you'd like it to go out and at what time. And I always like to put an arbitrary time uh, because if it goes out at 1, it's actually going to go out at exactly 1 o'clock, and that's a bit of a tip-off. Uh, if the messages are going out, you know, on a even time like that. Um, you can keep on going. So as many messages as you want to add, you can. So here we go with the third one, <clears throat> and you can just change the time as well. You get the point. Um, but the point here is to actually have a nice drip campaign going out from the front of the product. When they do respond, um, you can change people from this campaign into other campaigns. And then once you're done, so here's where it says, future date. So earlier when I said I picked the wrong date, <clears throat> the system does have logic. So it'll make sure that you can't start the campaign on a date that's already passed. So here's our uh, campaign. We can still edit it. We can start it. We can delete it. Um, you can go back in and change it anytime. Once people respond, they're going to respond into the message section. And at that point, uh, all you're doing is uh, bi-directionally chatting with them. And you can move them from one campaign to the next. So if they go from a cold lead to a warm lead to a customer, um, you, can, you can manage the flow of drip campaigns from the front in a very dynamic fashion. Um, and in here as well, I'm just showing the editing function so that you realize how easy it is to manage um, the messages that you're going to be sending out to your, to your folks. And of course, you know the system will tell you when there's an error. So... That's texting-based drip campaigns. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. But what we're doing here is working heavily on the automation side of texting and keeping it very personal from a local number. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, textingbase.com. Thank you so much, and hope you have a great day.